Good evening, I'm Daniel Anthony. It's Friday the 19th of May, Ho Chi Minh's birthday. The Ipoh Election Commission Office had an unusual visit this morning from Taiping MP Ngar Ko Ming and a group from the Perak Pakatan Harapan. They had a message for the commission, in particular its chief, Muhammad Hashim Abdullah. SPR telah pun buat pertama kali di sejarah Malaysia Engah memberikan rang pendaftaran pengundi kepada tambahan kepada mana-mana parti politik. Dia dulu selalu bagikan dia CD, kita boleh periksa. Tapi sekarang dia tak engah bagi, maka kami terpaksa berkemah di sini di mana rakan-rakan kita dari Amana, Kadilan, DAP bersatu terpaksa membawa photostack machine duduk di sini tepi longkang 3 hari 3 malam. The group had to pay a 10 ringgit deposit per voter objection that they filed and handed over to the commission today, which came up to 1,290 ringgit for the 129 voters that they were filing against, paid in full with literally cold hard cash. <laughs> Following the removal of Pujut Assembly person Dr. Ting Tiong Chun from the Sarawak State Assembly over allegations that he was holding an Australian citizenship alongside his Malaysian one, the Election Commission has announced that the by-election for the seat will take place on the 4th of July with nomination day fixed for June 20th. Meanwhile, Sarawak DAP announced plans to challenge Ting's disqualification in court. Deputy Prime Minister Ahmad Zaid Hamidi has responded to the recent arrest and remand of two senior police officers in Malacca by the Malaysian Anti-Corruption Commission. The arrest took place earlier this week under investigations into senior police officers allegedly receiving bribes from gambling syndicates and massage parlours in exchange for police protection. I have a opinion with other people in KDN that we don't have to be afraid if there is a situation Orang dalaman agensi-agensi penguat kuasa itu terlibat dan tidak akan ada pelindungan daripada kami. Former Prime Minister Dr Mahathir Mohamad today said during a Facebook Live interview that a reduction in the wealth gap can strengthen racial ties and that when the disparity is very big between races, there would be tension that can lead to rioting. Tetapi kita cuba tanpa mengamalkan socialism ataupun komunisme kita cuba mengurangkan jarak antara miskin dan kaya antara Melayu dan Cina sebab hmm. itu itulah cara yang terbaik untuk kita merapatkan hubungan and that's all we have today ladies and gentlemen for more videos and stories log on to kinitv.com please subscribe and share this video as well i'm daniel anthony thanks for watching